Hey guys, welcome to another workshop Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about splinting legs or arm, but we'll talk about legs specifically. Last time we talked about ankles, and that's quite simply how to splint that. Now, if you afford and you want to carry one or you've got the room, these are a great tool to have. It's called a SAM splint, um, and you can buy them from any outdoor shop. They're actually quite useful to use. But again, I'm not going to show you how to use this as a product, so please go and get some education on it and look up the product itself. Fantastic to use. But in the case of you're out bush and you're carrying that bare basic band-aid, again, my snake bite bandage, um, let's go back to basics. A stick, a bit of cardboard, a map case, build a splint. Now when somebody breaks a leg, they're incapacitated. So whether it's a femur or your lower leg injuries, they're not going to go anywhere. So you've got to think about long-term prognosis. Remember, warm, wet, sweet, and, and pink. Okay? So as soon as they stop moving in a canyon, they're going to get cold quite quickly. Splint the leg up. It's probably last on my agenda. Get them warm first. Okay? Let's assume we've already done that with Libby. Libby's fallen down. She's got no other injuries other than a fractured leg. Lower or upper, it doesn't really matter. Okay? So this instant, Libby, where you're fractured? Yeah. Lower. She's done a lower leg. That's quite obvious. She's not going to go walking anywhere. Okay? You need to get into your plans of what's going to happen. If you can and you've got a bit of stick or a bit of bark or something to, to create or even a pack, use it as a splint. That will give the ultimate support in your, your first aid along the way for how many hours you might be stuck out there. So here we are. A little bit of twig I found on the side of the canyon. Nice big canyon here. But simply, you're going to use that down the side of Libby's leg. And again, using this bandage or whatever, every other bandage you've got, you're going to wrap it up, make it nice and tight and nice and firm. Okay? Don't forget the pain management. If you're out in the middle of nowhere and there will be a number of hours getting there and you've got some Panadol or Neurofren or something out there in your kit, don't be afraid to give it. That's not for me to say, but give some pain relief. Nothing better than, nothing worse than sitting there for hours and hours in pain when you could have just simply had something simple. This is a simple tool. Good old caveman stick. Now let's, let's splint the whole leg up. I'm going to splint it down from that, all the way to the foot, roughly up to a hip. Now it's only in the lower leg, but you still want to keep that straight and with the upper leg as well. But ideally, wherever the fracture is and you can identify it, let's say Libby's done it mid, mid shaft of the lower leg. You really want to strap it above and below the break. So you've got to just get to hold that for there. Yeah. I'm going to start down low. And if, I, if I've got enough of it, I've got a heap of bandage here. But if I've got enough, I can probably splint the whole leg. And without moving Libby's leg too much. And simply go around, make it nice and firm. Now you can see I can use one bandage. Now if I wanted to, I could probably cut that and just tie it up and make it firm. Is that okay? Yeah, all good. Let's assume I'm doing whatever, the brakes here. I'm going to go down lower. I'm trying to keep it nice and firm. I'm trying to come around this side a little bit. Nice and firm. Supporting the limit, the, the fracture, fracture. You can simply leave it like that. Make it nice and pretty. Put bows and ties in it. As long as it's nice and firm and it supports the, the fracture. It'll make her life more comfortable for the top, for the hours to come. Okay? And you can go for your life and how you want to make it. Let's pretty it up like a Christmas tree. Strap it around here. Make it nice and tight. And if I've got some more bandages, I can bandage up there as well. Just to really make that support. It's important that she, she doesn't want to bend or flex this part of the leg. Bone on bone, not very comfortable. 
that's a very basic flip for a broken leg. Stay safe out there, we'll talk again soon.